Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, before we begin our lesson today, we are going to have a quick review of what we've been learning about place value. Okay, so this is just a reminder that place value, we have hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, and then our expanded form, remember we talked about that last week? Okay, it was where we write out the number for each place value. So, for example, 436 would be expanded to according to the place value. So because the 4 is in the hundreds place, it'll be 400. 3 is in the tens place, it'll be a 30. And 6 is in the ones place. Chelsea, are you paying attention? <laughs> Thank you very much, is in the ones. Okay, so this game is called Race to Raise. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I guess it's working groups because I only have four. Claire, you want to go solo? I'll go solo. Heck yeah, so I'm talking about. So, okay. Oh, how do I get rid of that? What? It's like giving away what I'm going to do over there. Oh, presentation. Oh. Do you enable editing up there? Click. And now it's presentation. Go to, well, yeah, slideshow. Start at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Is it gonna show, oh, it's going to show the next one. Display settings oh. instead of at the top. Go this doesn't count. Go to the slideshow. Slide mm -hmm. Where am I? Go to the slideshow. Right, right, and here. Oh no. Go, oh. go down, you were by right by Go down the slideshow again. Over here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what I did. Hit it again. And then slideshow settings are on the car. Make sure, go to presentation. Or what? Not. Go to your slideshow. Okay. Hit it. I did. Oh, it says resume slide, so you see where I put that? It's right there. This doesn't count. <laughs> you see the slideshow up at the top? Along the menu? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. Slideshow. Animation. Thumbnails. Click that. Go from the beginning. Again. Again? Put the X on that one. Let's try that one. Yeah, no, okay, so. Um, I'm beginning. Okay. Let it go. Okay, so. New numbers. Yes, new numbers. So, I am going to write a number on the board. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you, is it uh, for the number in the ten, the hundreds, tens, or ones place? And your job is to write it real quick and hold it up as fast as you can. Okay, the person with the most, or the group with the most points at the end of the game gets a prize at the end of the week. Okay. So it's Monday today. Yes, Monday. Okay. Okay. Give me the number that is in the tens place. Oh! Is that an N? That's a four. Oh, it's a four. Okay. Group. J E. G. So close, Claire. You're so close. Okay. Ready? What number is in the ones place? Oh! <laughs> Oh, you need, oh, she needs a new marker. She needs a new marker. That's what happened. Okay. I want the number in the hundreds place. Go. Oh, so close. But I got to give it to group three. So dang close. What about the ones place? Oh, you're up there. You're still ringing. 
six. Oh, we can't just pull it out. I'll go take the side Yes, hey. teacher's pet. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a subtraction. Ouch! Subtract in numbers. Can we see? One place. Oh! Come on, Claire! Gotta get up on the board! Okay. Hundreds. Dang it! <laughs> you guessed that you were wrong. Okay, the next three problems, or the next three questions I'm gonna ask you is not only am I gonna ask you for the place value, but I'm also, but you, before you raise it, you have to write it in expanded form. Okay. okay. Okay, do we need an, another example for that? Do we? So we need an so expanded like form. Plus three so plus two. Yep, so if okay. I ask, for example, I will give an example. If I ask for the number in the hundreds place and I want it expanded, what will it be? 400 plus 20 plus 7. Uh, just 100. Oh, oh, gotcha. 400. 400. Okay. Oh, that was an example. Hey, ready? Tenth place. Oh, team two. I don't know what's going on. Hundred place. Yes, Claire. Good job. Mom, Hey, are we up and running or no? Still. Hey, last problem. Ready? Worth ten points. Yep. I only have nerdy dirt. Expanded form, the entire number. Whoa. Very nice! No. Hey, she didn't put the pluses in there. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. She didn't draw her picture. 900 <laughs> plus 60 plus 7. Good job. Good job, guys. One, one. Jonah, can you please gather the whiteboards? Yes. Uh, I know. Gosh dang it. Okay, you can just leave it up the way it was in that time. I'll work with it. I'll work with it. So, 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 talked about our swabats, what we will be doing for that uh, for today. Okay? So repeat after me. Today, today I will be able to, I will be able to identify, identify base tense blocks, base tense tense blocks, blocks base to tense. solve subtraction problems. To solve subtraction problems. Is it gonna show up? Yay name, name, I don't know. Okay, so okay, so these are base ten blocks. Does anybody have any idea why they would be called base ten blocks? Ten by ten. Uh, raise hand. Yes, there. Ten by ten. They are ten by ten, and why do we know this? We just have a lesson. Expanded form. No, we just have a lesson before this one. Because oh. there is an array. There's an array of ten. Yes. Okay. There's an array of ten and ten. That's why I asked to go after the chances. Okay. <laughs> Another way that we can realize this is that we have our ten sticks. So this is the hundreds block. Can you guys say hundreds block? Hundreds block. Okay. Hundreds block. This is the ten stick. Say ten stick. Ten, ten stick. stick. So the ten stick is equivalent of ten ones. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a miracle. Okay? So we have a hundreds block, we have our ten stick, and then we have our ones, of course, one block because it counts by one. Okay? Yes. Yeah, you may still one. Okay, so we will be using our blocks to help expand or to model our problems today. Okay, 
Another thing that we'll be using today, not only will we be representing it in the blocks, but we'll also be drawing them out on a base 10 model. Okay, so this is what a base 10 model looks like. It's divided by hundreds, tens, and ones. Any questions on that? We will get to this later, but first of all, I am going to solve a few problems using our base 10 blocks. Okay. And we will be using these blocks in accordance with five steps to solve subtraction problems. Okay? So, we will be using the, uh, the example of 136 minus, let me see it clearly. Okay? This is step one. This doesn't include the blocks, but this is what we will be writing. So, step one is that we need to write the problem correctly, okay? So, when we're doing subtraction problems, it is easiest to do it up and down, not side to side, okay? Last week, we did mental math with side to side problems, but this week, because we're doing two digit and three digit subtraction, it is easier to do it up and down. Any questions? Also, remember that the higher number goes on top because we can't do it with the smaller number on the top, so we always have to put it on top, okay? So, this is our opening problem, our example problem that we're gonna do, 136 minus 479, okay? We changed it to up and down, vertically, and we put the largest number on top, okay? Step two is we are going to model, or we are going to move, we are going to model the highest number with our base 10 blocks. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do for you now. So, whenever doing subtraction problems and using the base 10 model, we're only going to model the highest number. Okay? So, So, how many do I have in the hundreds? I have 400. So, I will need 400 blocks. Okay. What about the tens? I have seven. seven. So, I will need one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in the ones place, I have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more. And nine. Great. We've modeled. That is step two. Step three. Starting in the ones place, we are going to remove or take away the bottom number. Okay? So, from the ones place, we are going to take away six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. From the tens place, we're going to take away three. One, two, and three. And from the hundreds place, we're going to take away one. Okay? That's step three. Step four, Step four is where we're going to be back on our, on our sheets, where we are going to write out expanded form. So according to our model, we have three hundreds left. We have one, two, three. We have four tens left, which equal 40. And we have three ones that equal three. Okay? And then the last one, the last step is really easy. Combine the expanded form to form our answer, which is 343, which is modeled right here, 343. Are there any questions? So, I'm going to break you up into three groups. Claire, I can work with you. And we're going to work together a few problems using our blocks. Okay? So, um, here you go. Oh, 
Paul Claire, Eric, can you just move over near Claire? Hmm? Can you go to Claire? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Your personalities work? Yes. No? Yes, no? Yes, we'll, we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. We'll make it work. And then I will give you this model so you guys can place them in the right. Mm -hmm. All right, our first example, okay, that we're going to work out together. 26 minus 48. Let's begin at step one. Step one, what should we do first? Which problem? 26. 26 minus 48, so we need to move the big number. Big number in front or big number on top? On top. On top? on top because you remember how are we writing it side to side or up, up and down? Okay. Up and down, okay? Okay, so we can go ahead and just put the problem down in the hundreds place because I just realized that I didn't write a space to write the number. So, how should the problem be written? 26 minus 48. If we were to write it correctly, how would it be written? 48 on top. Minus 26 on the bottom. Great job. What do we do now, Claire? Uh, We've written it correctly. What do we do now? Now we draw it. We make base blocks. Mm -hmm. And separate them into expand form, hundreds, tens, ones. Great job. With our base blocks. With our base blocks. Are we modeling both numbers? Biggest number. No, we're modeling the biggest number. You're correct. So please model using your base 10 blocks, 48. We're using the base 10 blocks right now, Claire. We don't need to draw anything right now. I just draw, I just passed it out so you guys can see how to divide the hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, great. Step number three. Now we are going to subtract the bottom number starting in what place, Jonah? Starting in the ones. Great job. So, eight minus six. Yes. Sure. I don't think he's doing it right. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. He's going wrong. Right? It's okay. So, we're using this to help you model. Okay, <laughs> to know that the hundreds place is on this side, the tens is in the middle, and the ones is to the far right. Okay, so let's keep this separated. So you can see that they're individuals. Because we're coming by one, we're not coming by twos, Jack. I think you need to stay in for recess. <laughs> but it's okay, you're doing great. Great job. All right, so how many are we taking away from our one's place? Six. How many ten sticks did you take away? Two. Two, great. So what is our expanded form that we have right now? Jack, look at your base ten blocks to help you out. Twenty and two. Twenty and two. Does and and plus mean the same thing? Yes. No, does not mean. It just says that we have two separate things. We have the two base ten, okay, and the two. So now our fifth step is to what? Write it. First. We are going to add or combine it to make our final answer. Okay. Are there any questions? Well, if you have any other questions, we're going to go through one more problem because of time, because we still have one more thing to go through. So we're going to do one more problem, okay? So, wipe your boards clear, and we are going to do 659 minus 317. So, step one is? Write it on top. The right way. Yes. So, what is our step one? What are we doing? 659 minus 317. No, um, 
And the ones? Yep. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. From the tens place, Jack. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, and five. From the hundreds place, Claire. One. One. Wait. Oh, are you three. sure? Three. Now, expanded form, Jonah, hundreds place. Uh, one hundred. One hundred. Chelsea, tens place? Mm, ten. Ten. Great job. Ones place, Eric? Two. Two. And step five, 100 plus 10 plus 2, 100 in the hundreds place, tens place, and 2. Okay? okay, any questions, comments, concerns? Anybody confused in our steps? Okay? Now, um. Chelsea, you're absent today. Okay, everybody back to your desk. Okay. Don't worry, we'll clean up later. We're almost done. Okay, so for you to do, I have given you one problem, okay? And using the drawn base 10 model that I so lovely provided for you on your paper, okay? You're gonna demonstrate each step for this problem. Okay, which is, what is step one? Eric. Uh, present the problem correctly with the higher number on top. And which number on the bottom? Lower number on the bottom. Good job. Step two. Me? Yeah, you. To put the block, to model it. Model, yes. We're not using, we're not saying put the block, we're using model. Okay, step three. Eric. Uh, we're going to take away the number on the bottom. Starting in what place? The ones place, and then the tens place, and the hundreds place. Good job. Step four, Claire. Mm -hmm. Expanded form. Expanded form. Good job. The numbers remaining, right? Uh, this is after you subtract it. And step five, Jonah. Take a standard form into your normal form. <laughs> Typical form. You don't need to normal and educational. All right. You have one minute. There's only one problem. Oh, Very good busy. I'm passing it. Okay? So first one to get it right, when? Yep. Okay, cool. Perfect. Making sure that you have all the steps.
Okay? And I want you to look at that problem and I want you to tell me if it's correct or not. It's not correct. Is that everybody in agreement with him? He missed the Why? two extra ten sticks. Which step is that? Uh, that's two. step two, yeah, after he writes the problem directly. Perfect. Okay, you're correct. He did miss step two. This is a way that you guys can double check yourselves. Okay? When you guys are doing a problem and you've gone through each of the steps, when you guys go back, you guys can see, okay, did I do step one? Did I do step two? Did I do step three? Especially when we go over problems, if you see that you did not get the correct answer, you can go back in your steps and see where you got incorrect. Okay? Any questions? Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clean up, Jack. What are you doing over there? Jack, clean up. Who's next? Are you building a spaceship over here, Mr. Dillon?